Hello, everyone. I'm going to read to you today a condensed version of the book, The Lion King, and it's called A Prince's Day. I'm going to show the book the whole time so you won't see me today, but you're going to see all of the beautiful pictures. So here we go. It was early morning at Pride Rock. Simba and Nala couldn't wait to go out and play. Let's go down to the river, Nala said loudly. Shh, Simba whispered. We have to be quiet as Zazu will hear us. But it was too late. Zazu had been on the lookout for the young prince. Ah, there you are, Simba, Zazu said, landing in front of Simba. Come along. We have a busy day of training ahead of us. But Nala and I were about to go down to the river. Simba complained. Nonsense, Zazu said. As a prince, you have certain responsibilities, young sire, and we can't keep them waiting. Bye, Simba, Nala said. Have fun at prince school. Maybe we can go to the river tomorrow. Not if Zazu has anything to say about it. Simba grumbled, watching as Nala bounded away. Zazu let Simba down to the watering hole where the animals of the pride lands were taking turns drinking water. Part of a ruler's responsibilities is solving disputes between his subjects. A perfect example is the watering hole. Each animal needs to have a turn to drink. Zazu explained, see that herd of antelopes? They have been here too long. It's the rhino's turn. You, you there, the bird said, yelling at antelopes. Simba listened for what felt like hours as Zazu talked on and on and on to the antelopes. Finally, the lion cub saw a chance to escape. A herd of giraffes was leaving the watering hole. If he could sneak out with them, he might still have time to play with Nala. Just when Simba thought he had gotten away. Zazu landed in front of him. And where do you think you're going, Zazu demanded. Come on, Zazu. We've been at the watering hole for hours. Can't I go play with Nala? A prince's job is never done, he insisted. Onward to our next stop. Zazu let Simba back to Pride Rock, where... Mufasa was listening to his subject's concern. A king must listen to all the other animals, animals, Zazu explained. You can learn a lot from your father. So, father up there talking to all the animals. What do we see? We see elephants, zebras, and here's Simba, here's Zazu, and here's Mufasa. Simba's. Simba tried to pay attention. He listened as Mufasa advised the elephants to find new grazing grounds. He listened as the zebras worried about the upcoming rainy season. But soon the lion cub was just as bored as he had been at the watering hole. He started to fall asleep. Young sire Zazu yelled angrily, pecking Simba awake. Were you paying attention at all? Simba yawned, shaking himself awake. He looked around. The other animals were gone. Mufasa must have finished for the day. Um, I heard some of it, Simba replied. Frustrated, Zazu flew up in the air. Come along, Simba. We aren't finished yet, Zazu said. Simba slowly followed as a bird led him away from Pride Rock. Soon they were walking past the river where Simba and Nala had planned to play that day. Simba looked for his friend, but he didn't see her. Suddenly, Simba heard a yell. Did you hear that, Zazu? He asked. Hear what? Simba, Zazu said. There was another yell. That, Simba said, running toward the river. Zazu flew after him. It was Nala. She had fallen into the fast-moving river and couldn't get out. Hurry, go get my friend, Simba ordered Zazu. The bird flew away in search of Mufasa, but Simba knew there wasn't time to wait. Nala needed him now. Nala was drowning. Simba's worried. 
Simba looked everywhere for a way to get his best friend. Finally, he saw a long tree branch on the shore of the river. Nala, grab on, Simba yelled. He grabbed the tree branch in his mouth and moved it over the river. Nala reached out and grabbed the branch just in time. Simba pulled the branch back and dragged Nala out of the river. She was safe. That was some good, fast thinking on Simba's part. Simba, Simba, Mufasa called running to the river. Here, Dad, Simba said, panting. It's okay, I got Nala. Relieved, Mufasa and Zazu gathered the cubs and started back to Pride Rock. Zazu, Nala can give you a moment with Simba, Mufasa asked. Simba was worried. Was Mufasa angry at him for not paying attention to Zazu? Zazu told me about your day. I know that you want to play with your friend, but Zazu was trying to teach you important lessons about what it means to be king, Mufasa said. What did you learn at the watering hole? Mufasa asked. That the rhinos follow the antelopes, Simba replied. Mufasa laughed. No, that you have to be fair as a ruler and make sure all your subjects are treated equally. He said, and Zazu brought you to Pride Rock to show you that a leader must be wise as well. But the last lesson you taught yourself, I did, Simba said. Yes, my son, you rescued Nala and showed that a ruler must be brave. I am very proud of you, Simba. Simba smiled up at his father. Now, Mufasa said, I think there may be just enough time for you and Nala to play before dinner. Simba smiled and bounded off to find Nala. He'll make a good king someday, sire, Zazu said, landing on Mufasa's shoulder. Mufasa smiled. Yes, he will. I hope you enjoyed that story an excerpt from The Lion King. It was really cute. And the next time we'll read another story. So thanks for tuning in today.